Numbers 28, verse 1, Daily Offerings. Now the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel, and say to them, My offering, my food for my offerings, made by fire as a sweet aroma to me, you shall be careful to offer to me at their appointed time. And you shall say to them, This is the offering made by the fire which you shall offer to the Lord, two male lambs in the first year without blemish, day by day, as a regular burnt offering. The one lamb you shall offer in the morning, the other lamb you shall offer in the evening. And one-tenth of an ephah of fine flour as a grain offering mixed with one-fourth of a hen of pressed oil. It is a regular burnt offering which was ordained at Mount Sinai for a sweet aroma. An offering made by fire to the Lord, and its drink offering shall be one-fourth of a hen for each lamb. In a holy place you shall pour out the drink to the Lord as an offering. The other lamb you shall offer in the evening as the morning grain offering and its drink offering. You shall offer it as an offering made by fire, a sweet aroma to the Lord. Verse 9, Sabbath Offerings. And on the Sabbath day, two lambs in their first year, without blemish, and two-tenths of an ephah of fine flour as a grain offering, mixed with oil, with its drink offering. This is the burnt offering for every Sabbath, besides the regular burnt offering with its drink offering. Verse 11, Monthly Offerings. At the beginnings of your months, you shall present a burnt offering to the Lord, two young bulls, one ram, and seven lambs, in their first year without blemish. Three tenths of an ephah of fine flour as a grain offering, mixed with oil, for each bull, two tenths of an ephah of fine flour as a grain offering, mixed with oil, for the one ram. And one tenth of an ephah of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering for each lamb. The burnt offering of sweet aroma, an offering made by fire to the Lord. Their drink offering shall be half a hen of wine for a bull one-third of a hen for a ram, and one-fourth of a hen for a lamb. This is the burnt offering for each month throughout the months of the year. Also, one kid of the goats as a sin offering to the Lord shall be offered, besides the regular burnt offering and its drink offering. Verse 16, Offerings at Passover. On the fourteenth day of the first month is the Passover of the Lord. And on the fifteenth day of this month is the, is the feast. Unleavened bread shall be eaten for seven days. On the first day you shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work, and you shall present an offering made by fire as a burnt offering to the Lord. Two young bulls, one ram, and seven lambs in their first year. Be sure they are without blemish. Their grain offering shall be of fine flour, Mixed with oil, three-tenths of an ephah you shall offer for a bull, and two-tenths for a ram. You shall offer one-tenth of an ephah for each of the seven lambs, also one goat as a sin offering, to make atonement for you. You shall offer these besides the burnt offering of the morning, which is for a regular burnt offering. In this manner you shall offer the food of the offering made by fire daily for seven days as a sweet aroma to the Lord. It shall be offered besides the regular burnt offering and its drink offering. And on the seventh day you shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work. Verse 26, Offerings at the Feast of Weeks. Also on the day of the first fruits, when you bring a new grain offering to the Lord at your Feast of Weeks, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work. You shall present a burnt offering as a sweet aroma, to the Lord, two young bulls, one ram, and seven lambs in their first year. With their grain offering, fine flour mixed with oil, three-tenths of an ephah for each bull, two-tenths for the one ram, and one-tenth for each of the seven lambs. Also one kid of the goats to make atonement for you. Be sure they are without blemish. You shall present them with their drink offerings, besides the regular burnt offering with its grain offerings.